bum bum. Alright, I'm back. It's been like 30 minutes of just taking a break, using bath and all that shit. If that. Uh, probably more than actually. Back to the tomb I have no idea how to use. Sorry, y'all. You're just gonna have to bear with me on this one. Alright, so. This is gonna be fun. Well, it had to be done. Lara left me no choice. I've. If I thought she could play the game, I might have let her in on my plan, but she doesn't have the grit for this business. She isn't ruthless enough, and and this discovery has to be mine. I've crossed the line. It, it won't look good, so as unfortunate as it may be, she can't make it off this island. None of them can. And whatever happens with Sam, it just makes this whole story all the more newsworthy. I don't think Matthias or his Solari can be reasoned with, so I'll, I'll need to slip away as soon as this ritual is completed. I'll make the perfect soul survivor. Returning with the authorities, the cameras, and an appropriately convincing expression of sorrow. Yeah, I'm wishing I was the one to kill that bastard, but no, the samurai had to rob me of it. Probably because they were nicer than I would be. I would have not been as nice. I don't mean to sound evil, but I really would not have been as nice. Okay, how the heck is this going to work? I don't know. I don't know how this is supposed to open the door, but... <sighs> if it's opening the door, it's all that I care about, right? I hope so. Chinese earthenware is thousands of years old. Could they have visited this island before the rise of Yamatai? Okay, here we go. There's some light. Dead bodies. Meh. Good thing I'm not skittish. And yes, the chances of me dying in this are very large, so I'm just saying that now. Don't expect me to be a pro. Also, don't expect me to know what I'm doing. <laughs> At all. I have no idea what I'm doing. My guess is pull it this way. And then when it comes this way, it's gonna go down a little and hit the door. My guess, at least. Well, that was helpful. Need to get up there somehow. Ish. First things first, I'm closing this thing, because I don't want to fall in, because F that, I don't want to fall in. ba dum -bum. it's closed. Next is next. Uh, I'm going to turn this thing down a little, because I actually want to be able to get a jump on it. Uh, there we go. That's what I needed. And, of course, I can to get on top of it, and then hopefully that's how it works, is if that's not how it works, I have no effing clue. And please skip this part, I'm failing badly at these jumping thing. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me, just run over the damn thing. Alrighty, I don't think I can make the jump. But... Jump. Yes! Fuck yeah, okay, that's how it works, guys. The 
cage is evil. The fire ritual where the queen chooses her successor. The chosen priestess enters the monastery. And she's given your power and becomes the new queen. Wait a minute. Many have given up their souls willingly for this gift. Now the first and last queen lives a half-life. A soul in a decaying body. Vessels. It's not transferring power. It's transferring a soul. All these queens, they're all... You, Himiko. First and last. Oh, God. And now you want Sam. Well, you're not getting her. Sam, a vessel for the Queen's soul. Um, why are you going a little mad yelling at a statue? Just saying. I have no choice now but to meet my fate. Tonight, I climb the stairs to the Chamber of the Sun. But I will never submit to the ritual. I will not emerge Queen. None will ever believe what I now know to be the truth. A twisted evil beyond imagining lives within the Sun Queen. An evil that hungers for more than just the land and seas of Yamatai. This madness cannot continue. So I go to the chamber, armed with the stolen dagger of her Storm Guard General. By the time so lots of people plotted to kill this person. For the sake of Yamatai and all the priestesses that would follow me, I must die. I get the feeling that this is not a happy-go-lucky place. on grenades, so I don't need any more grenades. What's about the storage things? Interesting little place. Yes! Point of no return. Mm-mm. Yo, I'm a bow nut. I love bows. I've seen similar artifacts on the Ban Giant site in Thailand. How did this get all the way to Yomatai? Very pretty. Saving because I can, and then we move on. Did I say the right thing? Yeah, I said the right thing. <laughs> oh, dang it, it's gonna be windy out. Charge for Flora! Tune it, hit it, and beyond! To do whatever the hell you want to do when you get off this bloody island. And more importantly, get a life. Stop living in ancient dead things. Survivors. Him 
faster than. I can't get to Matthias and do whatever the hell I do to Matthias. That's not gonna hit. Oh well. Uh, let's see. I remember finding what I did before. I can't remember how I broke it up. But I can't use a bell. Well, let's look down here and find out what's that way. Oh, I think I've already been there. That lava? Oh, cool, there's lava down there. I'm not back. We're not leaving without you. We'll be waiting.
Do I have to go through the whole thing again? No, I got it. See, I can't jump to her because the moment I land on a body, I die. I mean, it's really weird, but it's just how it happens. They don't really give me any camera control at all here, so I can only go so far. They don't want really to look behind me or anything. They don't want to go down or up. It's all, we want you to look one way. It's really hard to tell where they want me to go. See, I see the lantern up there, and I was going to go there, but there's nothing to get to up there. I just can't get there because it just goes pewing. Stop, stop, stop. What? Alright. Alright. Uh, okay, can I use her at all? No, she doesn't take me. The roof does take me somewhere though. So I'm gonna try not effing up.
weird thing to say, but why is it in the other Tomb Raiders, like the other games, you can press S when you're climbing, and you'll turn around to jump, but in this game you can't. Because I'm not sure how I'm supposed to reach that thing, because it keeps tossing me up a wall when I go down. down to the bottom and try to grab the railing.
the vassal. Pour forth and return to this mortal coil. Pour forth and be reborn. Pour forth and awaken. <laughs>
something I just noticed, her hair isn't going up. I mean, it's slightly moving, but not to the extent it would in this kind of storm. However, 
I'm not sure what the hell I'm supposed to be aiming at on this guy. Because he's so bloody armored. He's back, okay, aim for his back. If 
fight scene, I don't even get to fight the guy hand to hand. I hate animated fight scenes, man. I don't wanna have them tell me what to do. I just wanna do it myself. I just wanna go pew! You know? That's just...
safe now. It's okay. It's okay. You saved me. I knew you would. I'm cheesy right now. I made you a promise. Let's get you home. Oh, really? They added light beam just for that effect? Oh, God. Just a tad cheesy. Laura! She's got Sam! She did it. I think she's going to be okay. Why are her feet bound? What happened up there? It's over. We can go now. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Let's see. I never got to kill Whitman, though I wanted to. I've been so blind, so naive. For years, I resented my father, doubted him like the rest. But he was right about so much. Um, let me think. I just wish my I overall review of this game. There are so many mysteries that I, I like want to dismiss. It had a good explorer aspect. I kind of wish the map was a little more free roam, though. I know that sounds like a weird thing to say. I actually do wish I you could free roam the map a little more. I must understand. Um, the graphics were nice. Uh, only in very high, intense scenes did I lag badly. Sometimes it stuttered, but that's about it. Actually, I'm gonna do this during the credits because I just don't want to see this. Anything? Mm. Don't really know what happened to you on that island. Judging from those wounds and that look in your eyes, I'm guessing I don't want to know. Anyway, we'll be home soon. You have to wait, so I'm doing a review. I'm not going home. We don't really have a home to go to. I gotta say, I would really like the lighting effects. Alright, well. Thinking about my thoughts on this game. Graphics were amazing, so I'll, I'll say yes, graphics. Definitely good there. Uh, Storyline was pretty good. Um, got slow at some points, though. It was hard. I had to push myself to finish those points. Because I think that was the earlier stages where you felt no love for the character. But it, it picked up after that, so that's good. Now, let me think combat. I have some slight issues with the combat. Overall, it wasn't bad. But for the love of God, add a fucking sprint button. Um, she had no crouch mode. It was automatic. So, I wish you could toggle that. Um, let me think. Her little dodge move, when you press shift and she moves out of the way. Well, it was a good move, don't take me wrong, I loved it. The combos you did with it were pretty weak. Like, the only one I found myself ever using was the blind one, and that's on the rare occasion I ever got into melee range. And then I even, then I found my pickaxe stunned them more than the dust did, so I actually just preferred my pickaxe. Melee combat, I guess, left some to be desired, but other than that, it wasn't bad. Um... Let me think. Some of the boss fights were a little too easy. 
because they had a repetitive theme going on there where they were all armored so you couldn't hurt them. You just had to wait in the mount and find areas where you could hurt them. One well, not a bad approach. I feel they needed another one because from the one guy on the ship at the uh, Endurance, the Wreck of the Endurance dude, where you get your little uh, accelerator rope thing to where you fight the one Japanese dude. It's the same guy almost, except that dude's face in the first one wasn't covered. But it might as well have been. So I guess looking at it, I'd, I'd give this about an 8 of 10. It's not the perfect game, but I rather enjoyed it. Um, let me think. I like how they put random information across the game. That was nice. I didn't find them all, but still, I, I liked how they did that. Um, let me think. Whew, I'm thinking, and it's just nothing's really, which I really didn't like is coming to mind. I really liked it, actually, and there's nothing which I did not like, to the extent of worth mentioning. Some things were annoying, like my bug where whenever I hit D when I'm climbing walls and then hit W, it still thinks I'm Ding, so it jumps me to the right and it kills me a few times, but that's a minor issue, probably with my keyboard, honestly, because it's an old keyboard. So, that's not really anything against the game. I guess some of the hair models, I know that sounds like a weird thing to bring up, but they keep saying they put a lot of detail and stuff into the hair, and they did, but I wish they'd given it a little more, like, when that windy area, it was only slightly back and back and forth. I was kind of hoping it'd be blowing everywhere. Like, the ponytail would be going up, down, sideways, but... Yeah, that's the smallest things I can think of, so honestly, no, there's not too many really big things which got to me, so I'm gonna say yes. Good game. And I need two minutes, the recording's almost done. Yeah. So overall, I'm gonna give it a... 8 of 10, maybe 9. Maybe 9 of 10, honestly, I'm in between the two. Let's do 8.5. 8 and a half. Eight of, eight and a half of 10. Uh, so yeah, go try out the game, it's really fun. Uh, let me think. Some points, when you're trying to kill small animals, like, actually, I'm thinking of the boar right now. That boar took 5 arrows to kill. 3 shock, no, no, that's like 5 shotgun rounds, actually. Three arrows to the head, I'm sorry. Three arrows to the head is what it took to kill the boar. Maybe slightly tanky. Maybe just a tad when I nerfed that thing's HP or something, because I was just killing it at that point because it pissed me off because I couldn't kill it. Um, I kind of wish you could melee the rats and stuff with your F button, with the little pick, but I guess not. Um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna let you guys watch the end of the credits. Enjoy. Actually, I take that back. One more thing to say. I hope there's a sequel, because I actually really did enjoy this, so I wanted to see a sequel. But not a bad sequel, I want to see a good sequel. Uh, let's see, thanks for watching, I'll see you guys on the next Let's Play I do. And hopefully, just hopefully, I'll have a different software. Because this one's trials is three days up. Well, it has three days left at any rate. And god, this is taking forever. <laughs> I was kinda hoping the credits wouldn't be this long. Cooper Thornton, you will die. Samantha?
with two voicers, that's weird. There's an access scientist? Uh, when was this? Ambassador? When was that ambassador in this game? Yo, 